Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Alana, watching some One Piece. First of all, I wanna apologize. My last One Piece video was taken down by some group called Combso. They are some copyrighted um, folks, but yeah, they took the last one down. I am getting it um, looked at. We don't have that many more days until hopefully everything is cleared, but we'll see how that works. But in the meantime, um, for Patreon, everything is staying the same, but for YouTube, sorry YouTube that that was taken down and that this will probably be delayed for you guys on the YouTube side. But yeah, I am not gonna keep talking about all that just rudeness from them. We are getting into the thick of it, I will say. I feel like a lot of, like, that was not story, but more anticipation is building up. Like, we don't know where, uh, what's his name? Uh, Dr. Vegapunk is. We don't, we're going through some memory type of situation with Bonnie. We have Kizaru and the Godosei man, Saturn, coming. And yeah, oh, how is this all lining up? It does not seem as if we're gonna be able to get off of the island in time before Saturn and Kizaru gets there. Um, so wherever Vegapunk is, he's probably in a good ass hiding spot for him not to leave on time. We also have the pacifistas out here. We already know there is a chain of command, which I still think if Vegapunk had known that he was going to be a target for the um, world government, he or the Gorosei, whoever you want to call him, why couldn't he override the fact that, you know, hey, if I know the Gorosei is over me, maybe I should do some little doctoring and like switch the lineup to where I'm the head. You know what I'm saying? And like the Gorosei could be number two. Or d is it, or did he program it to where no other entity but the Gorosei can change or alter the order of operations? You know what I'm saying? But to me, it's like, if you're Dr. Very Punk, aren't you going to be smarter than all these folks? But hey. Whatevs, I'm not gonna keep going on about that. I just feel like since that is a thing, that we're probably gonna be in a bigger pickle because not just the uh, Seraphim are out here who are hella strong. We was, not, not we, what's his name? Oh my gosh, you guys know what I'm talking about. Is, is his name Sintomaru? I can't remember, no. I'm terrible with names. But you know, the one that we thought was dead, He's not dead and he just allowed 50, I believe, of the pacifistas to just go and protect, you know what I'm saying, the island. But I don't think he had, or have an idea that the Gorose is coming. So even if, you know what I'm saying, they are over here protecting from a distance, as soon as Saturn gets close enough, he's gonna say, hey, pacifistas, shut the fuck up, attack them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, ah, we are in a bad pickle, but yeah. I'm not gonna keep rumbling my gums. I am so excited to watch this next episode. So yeah, I'm gonna zip it and let's go ahead and jump in. Let's go. Mm, something bad's about to happen. We about to get Kuma's backstory. Backstory, y'all. I bet you this girl is seeing things that she's never um, seen before. Or is going to see things that she's never seen before. I feel like the closer she gets, something's gonna happen. There he is. Who are these guys? Why do they look like that? What do they want from him? He was a prisoner. Apparently, but who's imprisoning him? He was a, a big, strong one for a kid, at least. So he's not a prison. He escaped. Uh -uh. Hmm. Oh, she can't get closer. That has to be frustrating to watch, and you want to help, but you can't. Where is he talking about? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, I, I have to pause it. This is very, very disturbing. He's a whole child and these grown-ups are pummeling him as if he's a grown person. All right, all right, I'm sorry. That really like is frustrating and like very, very sad. 
Okay, focus a lot on. So far we're seeing Kuma is trying to escape from somewhere, from some, from some person. Um, these guys here are trying to collect him to take him back. He doesn't want to. Is he, he's very much larger than these guys for sure. But who are they trying to like give him back to? Why is he trying to escape? I just feel bad that Bonnie is over here trying, like, is watching these memories and she's seeing all the things so far, which hasn't been much. It's only been what two minutes of memory so far. She's seeing him cower and is scared and is crying. Someone he can't take it anymore and help, help, help. And she's over here. She loves her father. She's hella sad. Um, and she can't do nothing about it. She's running and running and running. You know how frustrating that would have to be to, to see one of your loved ones getting beaten and is crying and is hurt and you feel as though you're right here near them but you can't get to them i feel so bad for her already because this just watching them beat him and hearing him scream would be hard like it's hard on me and i'm not even bonnie you know what i'm saying like this is a cartoon that well anime like you know what i mean like ah sorry y'all i just had I, I can't just keep hearing the beaten okay let's go He's saying sorry. You guys! A celestial dragon? It's a freaking celestial dragon. What the fudge? Was he a captain of them before? I, I hate this. I, I hate them. I mean, that's already known, but still. He escaped from them. Yo, they're, they're beating his ass. He'd rather just die. He's saying this as a kid. Can we get past this part? I don't like hearing him getting beaten. It's spit her out? Do you think she's gonna go, she's gonna go back in and want more information, don't you think? He hasn't stopped trying to climb that wall. I really want their aim to be so shit that he can climb up this um, freaking mountain without getting hit anymore. Please keep missing, you guys. Do not hit him. Oh, wow. It was too overwhelming for her. That's why she got spit out. Keep missing, keep missing. Are you there? Where could he have gone? Exactly. Why would he be hiding? Do you think somebody's taken him? What does that sound? No. If you say it's Stella and Stella ain't answering, that means it ain't Stella. Somebody else was here. Come on, you guys. They, I don't think they are understanding that somebody else had put the barriers down. Like, come on. Nami? She don't want him to be lost. <laughs> come on, Zoro. You gotta do better. Communications are getting scrambled. Something's going wrong. No, it wasn't an accident. Something was following him, something or someone. <clears throat> what you see? Boa? Holy moly, that dang snail is dead. That's a dead snail. They, that, that snail good as dead, okay? She cooked that thing. If you're really enjoying this reaction and want to see the full uncut version, please join me over on Patreon. There you'll have access to all the shows you see here on YouTube and the Patreon exclusives. And don't forget before you leave to comment, like, and subscribe. Man, you know that.
that thing is done. Poor snail. Can you break it? <laughs> Zoro, please don't move. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna look at this. I just wanna look at the shadow real quick, okay? For a, a brief second, we see a figure. It has long hair, right? It looks like it's hair. I don't know. Do you guys think it could be one of the seraphim? What? Is it treasure of some sort that she likes? I knew it. <laughs> Look at Brooke speaking up for her. She got a whole bag. Where'd the bag come from? Oh, she will be okay. Trust me. <laughs> she said, I ain't leaving nothing, okay? Oh, Lord, why you tell her that? She's thinking about the money. <laughs> he said, get me away from her. That's a great question. You can change your face and appearance. Is this like a little nugget of like hints of who could possibly be the one um, taking out the cams? We probably already know who this person is, but they have changed their appearance and that's why they're doing what they're doing. Organoid? Oh, that's the doctor and chopper is excited. <laughs> she is so funny. Yes, she was. When it comes to women, Sanji gonna know everything. I thought he was gonna say number one man. He said servant. Oh, you guys. <laughs> I'm look. I'm sorry. I had to pause this. This is gonna be off topic. I hope none of y'all dudes out here are willing to be like Sanji. Don't ever, ever, ever be a woman's dog. <laughs> okay, that is my PSA to all you guys. Don't be a Sanji in this type of sense. Okay, he's a great cook, but don't, don't do that. Please don't, it's so cringe. <laughs> yes, he is a silly boy. No. <laughs> that just gave me, um, oh, what is that move with Eddie Murphy? Bark like a dog. Is it coming to America or something like that? Oh, it's like a It is Boa! Why? Who's ordering her to do that? All comms are down. Alright, I'm sorry y'all. I'm sorry for pausing so much. But I'm trying to think in... in, in what planet could a Seraphim, especially Boa, right? How, why would she do this after being called off? Was it by Edison? That means if she's doing this, either it's her own prerogative of doing it. Maybe that they, like remember I said in the beginning, like the Seraphim, they, they have their powers and they have like the orders of, hey, if this person tells me what to do, I have to do it. But what if there's something else inside of them? That could be a possibility to where they're overriding the, um, the order of who can tell them what to do. Or, right, since the Vega, well, Edison had told them not to do it, right? Is there somebody in this area that's of higher authority than Edison that can order whoever 
to have a mission of taking down the cams and in doing other things. You know what I'm saying? That's bad to us at this moment. So I feel like something else is happening here. Could it be maybe Shaka isn't that good anymore? Because we keep on seeing good on his back. Good. You know what I mean? Maybe something's happening. They don't want his ass to see. I don't know. But it is very fishy because the Seraphim only has orders. Either it's the Vegapunks or it's the Gorosei. The Gorosei is not here. So it would have to be another Vegapunk. Because it can't be CP0. They're locked up. And plus, they don't have a higher authority to the Vegapunks or the girls say. Who are thou? All the cams are going down. Something's happening. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Usopp's gonna be scared as hell. What in case she fight? What is that? <laughs> of course you would. <laughs> You're like, look, I'm tired. I'm gonna keep looking. Oh, they're coming up upon the uh, blast. Is that Pythagoras? Is he okay? Where is his head? What the what? It blew up his head? No, his head came off. That's a smart, like, um, ability to pop your head off. So he popped off in time. Oh. Oh. She smiled. It's somebody that she knows. Get away from her. Bubble. Bubbles. Bubbles. Deflect. Deflect. Deflect! She cute, but daily! She toned her butt into stone. Oh, buddy. Why is she doing this? I'm telling you, something is up, and I don't know what it is. Oh, Boa. And uh, Luffy's number one fan. <laughs> oh, so she was charming her. That's how she turns um, York into stone. Arrogant and selfish. The celestial dragons. Hoes. Yes, she did. <laughs> Thank the Lord. <laughs> I'm telling you, her and Nami could be so close with friends. Okie dokie, artichokies. So, it was one of the Seraphim. It was Boa. I do not know exactly what is going on with her in particular. It seems that it's just her. Um, you don't see Jimbe. Well, at least from what I've seen, I haven't seen Jimbe. Um, nor uh, the Mihawk one. So it seems as though she's the only one that's moving sus so far, at least from what we have seen. And again, how is this happening? How is she able to do this? Is she either working with someone that has a higher authority than, say, um, Vegapunk or the Gorosei right now? Or is this her? We've seen a moment when they were trying to run away that she had some type of personality. I'm, I'm telling you, these 
Seraphim, they are not just weapons. I don't think they're just weapons. And I'm gonna tell you another reason why I feel that way. I feel that way because look at Kuma, right? He even tried to um, like detach his memories and all that stuff from his actual body that was manipulated by Vegapunk. But for some reason, though those memories are gone, right? They're in the lab where Bonnie is looking at them. He's still trying his darndest to climb up this freaking wall so he can get to her. I'm telling you, there's something else that's going on within these, these Seraphim and these pacifists. Yeah, maybe some of them are just, you know, weapons. They don't have anything attached to them. But I will say the Seraphim may be different. Maybe they're, 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 they're made with the characteristics of, say, the, the actual entities that were put into them. Jinbei's loyal, so maybe that's why Jinbei Seraphim is not going around, you know, blasting shit. Um, Mihawk, doesn't see, maybe he doesn't see there's um, a reason for him to act out. He's just going to do his job and be like, whatever. But Boa, we just saw at the end of the episode, when they had like the, um, the Edison and Stella recap situation. She's selfish, she's arrogant, she, her, her personality is very, how can I put, how, how to explain her personality? Very, very boish, okay? <laughs> she's very boa. So what if something dealing with her genetics is causing this seraphim boa to act strangely in comparison? I don't know. Or maybe I could be wrong and say all three of these dang on seraphim have their own wills and now they're acting on it. But Boa, since she's probably more, uh, what's that word? I can't, oh my gosh, my words are leaving me. Since she is more so like an open book, like she probably acts before she actually thinks. Maybe she's saying, fuck it, I'm gonna do what I wanna do because y'all not gonna keep using my ass. You know what I mean? Like maybe that's how Boa is acting out now. But again, it could either be that or somebody else is ordering her. We don't know where Vegapunk is. So that's one thing. Maybe somebody's telling him to, hey, have a gun to his head. Tell the Seraphim to do this. Or flip in, you get shot, or something else is going to happen. Who knows? Vegapunk could be a freaking hostage and somebody's giving the, making him give the orders. Because I don't understand how Vegapunk is freaking lost. This is his home. He, he knows this place in and out. Who could have got him in that short amount of time? We also have to understand too, in the beginning, when all the defenses went down, it wasn't because the Vegapunks, the satellites, turned it down. Somebody from the inside turned the, the defense system down. So that's that as well. But yeah, this is a good episode. It's really making me think. I'm trying to put two and two together. But I guess I'm going to have to wait until the next episode to get a little bit more clues. But yes, you guys, thank you so much for watching this episode with me. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.